Hi, and welcome to the 1,000 YouTube subscribers video blog hop hosted by the sweet and talented Laura Sturks. This is Emily Leapart of Art from the Heart, and in this video I'm creating a paper smooches card using the brand new Band-Aids dies. These new dies are absolutely adorable and so realistic. I cut out a bunch for my son to use as part of his stuffed animal first aid kit. It's so cute watching him treat his animals. These Band-Aid dies were made to be used with the Healthy Vibes stamp set. Healthy Vibes also has its own set of dies now and I'll share those in another video later. Aside from Healthy Vibes, you can also use these Band-Aid dies with the First Aid Kit stamp set and that's what I'm going to do on my card. First, a closer look at the dies. There's a heart-shaped one. All of these dies have both die cut features and dry embossed features. That gauze pad in the center is dry embossed on all three band-aids and you can see those in the close-ups. The spot is perfect for stamping faces, hearts and small sentiments. I've die cut my band-aids from a grayish peachy pink cardstock that looks like real band-aids. They would also look very realistic die cut from craft cardstock. This last band-aid with the die cut heart in the center is the one I'll be using on my card. I love that you can use a different color for the heart. I'm starting with a 4 inch by 5 and a half inch base that opens from the bottom. I've trimmed a panel for the band-aids and sentiment and I'll be popping that up with foam tape. To decorate the panel, I'll place three band-aids angled like so. I swap out one of them with a different style just to see how it looks, but I don't like it so I go back to my original plan. I move them up to leave a spot for the sentiment, then I insert the red hearts in the centers. Underneath the panel I'm going to use a geometric pattern from Cosmo Cricut's Voluptuous Collection. It's full of patterned vellum and glittered vellum papers. It's absolutely to die for. This is the pattern I'm using, and I'm just holding it underneath the panel to determine how much I want peeking out from the sides of the panel. Before I adhere that, I'm going to add a solid grey border to create a separation between the white cardstock and vellum paper. I'm going to offset the vellum piece so that the pattern showing on the left is the same width as the amount of white base showing on the right. Now I'm just going to adhere all three layers of the panel together. At first I thought I might offset the hearts, but I decided to keep them flush with the band-aid. I apply score tape to the backs to hold the two pieces together, then add foam tape for popping them onto the panel. I position them on the panel to determine their placement before choosing a sentiment. Feel Better Soon from Healthy Vibes is a little too long for the panel, so I pull out first aid kit and pick one day at a time. Together with the band-aids, this sentiment would work as a get well card, a sympathy card, and even for mending a broken heart. After moving everything around, I decided I liked the sentiment better amongst the band-aids rather than at the bottom. I taped down the panel with masking tape and stamped the sentiment with VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. Then I peeled the backing off the foam tape and adhered the band-aids. When the band-aids are in place, I apply foam tape to the back of the panel and attach to the card base. Now my card is done. Please refer to the supply links below if you're interested in any of the products I used in this video. You can also visit my blog for stills and more information about my cards. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to click on the link below for the next video on this hop. Laura has a lineup of generous sponsors for her milestone blog hop, so be sure to leave a comment at each stop to increase your chances of winning. Good luck!